Welcome back. In this video, I will introduce some uh, basic R code and the codes that are specifically designed for network analysis. Well, there are several uh, sections. We will go through the first one is the preparation. Okay, we can navigate by uh, clicking the section titles here under the R codes. The very first step, I do recommend that um, we would load the library that we are going to use and also set up a working directory. Uh, for me, since I have the iGraph pre-installed here, I don't have to install. I just have to attach it to my working space. Let me just run this. The second step is to set up a directory. For me, I have um, this working directory set up saying that I am using week 12's data. But for you, it might be the default document folder that you are using. If you would like to store everything under one folder, my recommendation is that you can create a new folder and put the codes, um, the R projects, the um, source file, I mean the data file, in one folder and set the folder as the working directory. The next step is um, an illustration of how to create a data frame. Two ways to create a data frame. The first one is to create from scratch. The second one is to import existing data and create a data frame based on that. Let's see the first one. Um, run it. So um, the code basically says that we are going to create a data frame and the name of the data frame is sample data. This data frame contains four variables, ID, first name, female, and age. For ID, we specify the one four numbers from one to four. For first name, it will be a vector-like variable contains four names. John, Jean, Jen, and Jill. For a female, the third variable, um, is, it will also be like a vector variable, FFTT of force, force, choo, choo. And for age variable, it will be just the age, 22, 33, 44, and 55. We can simply open the data from the environment and see um, whether we have created a um, data frame that names sample data. The next step, um, we're trying to load some existing data into R and ask R to read those data. The function we are going to use is called read um, CSV. The file choose um, command will open a window so that we can select the file um, using our mouse. The second argument is the header. It asks whether the file contains header information. Okay. If that's true, then yes, it contains a header. If it is an F, that means no. Okay. Separator argument SEP um, actually is short for separator. It asks us to specify whether the file contains um, a comma as the separator or other kinds of separators. Okay, let me try to run this. 
Now it opens a window and uh, asks me to choose the one. And I am going to read this as a um, edges file. I will just choose a file for um, edges. I can simply click on this one to view if they are successfully loaded. Actually, let me show the original data and compare it with the one that's been created. Okay. The initial raw data contains, say, um, four columns, source, target, type, and weight. And um, in R, it contains four columns. Each of the columns uh, represents a variable. We can do the same thing, read CSV file, but this time we choose notes instead. Now we have the sample um, edges and the sample vertices. We are able to create a um, network. We name this network sample graph. Let me run this. Well, the argument of vertices asks us to specify which vertices we have created is going to be used here. We created um, sample vertices. So we just use a sample vertices here. Um, D is for edges and directive argument asks whether we would like this network to be a directed network or undirected network. Well, the next step seems we've created the network. We are trying to see whether our network um, contains the information we need. We can simply ask for a summary. Let me run this. So R says our graph um, contains name, label, attribute 1, city, latitude, longitude as the vertices. V it stands for vertices here. And um, it contains the type weight as the edges attributes. Well, um, the C here stands for characters and N here stands for numeric. So um, some of them are numbers, some of them are um, types or categories. We can also ask um, specific attributes. For example, here, I would want to know the edges information of our sample graph. And specifically, we want the variable weight. Let me say that um, R is case sensitive, so that you have to type weight, the first letter of the weight, the W, um, using uppercase. Because um, in the original, let me show the sample edges. This is the original data frame we created, right? The header says the weight, um, the first letter of the weight is using um, the uppercase. So when we do this, specify this variable later, in R, we are going to do a case too. Otherwise, R would know that we are trying to get this 
表扬。Next,、uh, we can calculate the degrees of this sample graph. The arguments are: if we are going to calculate the degree, we simply name this and then、um, ask for the degree of the graph of the network. Okay, and we would like to specify.、Um, The vertices here. The vertices would be the vertices of our network. The mode、um, asks, what are the、um, directed or what directed paths? Whether we want the in or the out paths. If we want both, then we say or. If we only want to count the in path, then we just type in, and we also can specify whether we want the number to be、um, normalized, so it is moving between zero to one. If it says false, then we want the original score, not the normalized score. The second. As for betweenness centrality, we simply would use the betweenness function and specify what is the network we are going to、uh, calculate the betweenness, which which、um, vertices we are going to use, and whether the betweenness centrality will be. Directed or undirected, whether we want it to be normalized or not, it is the same thing for closeness centrality. We do have to specify what network we're going to analyze,、um, whether we would like to analyze the in path. The outpaths or both. Okay, whether we would like to consider the inferences from the weights. Let me pull out, um, say the edges data frame. We do have a variable, a column that specified the weight. And、that is the reason、uh, we possibly would want、uh, weights to be considered, but in this case we say no.、Okay. And、um, let me run those commands. You may notice that we have、um, between. Centrality calculated, degree centrality calculated here, and if you go to the R console, those are the numbers. Since we do have a large,、um, say, network, we do see a large set of numbers being calculated here. I can I can. Scroll up a bit. Okay, those are the numbers. Next, um, I will show you how to draw or plot or to visualize this network. It is very simple, actually. We just need to use the plot function. But、um, it has so many things to be customized here. Actually, you don't have to customize if you don't want. But if you do,、um, those are the commands that you need. So for the plot, the first required argument is what is the network that you like to plot? It is the sample graph, right? You can specify、um, what are the vertices. Label you would like to use. 
In this case, we know that for the vertices, the meaningful information contained here in the column city. So we would like to specify that we would like to use city as the label of the vertice, not the default ID. If we do not specify here, then the default will be using the first column ID. And the next one, uh, whether we would like to specify the width of the plot of the edges. Okay. Since we have, let me go into, let me go to the edges here. Since we do have the weight column, we can simply use the weight as the um, width of the edges. So that's how we pull out the edges information from sample graph, the network, and we would like to pull out the uh, weight column. We would like to specify the size of the vertices, but you don't have to. If you want, you can set up the size. In some cases, we can also set up the vertices size according to some attributes. For example, if we do have, let me go back to the vertices. In this case, we don't have the population information listed for each of the cities. But in case we do, we can specify that we want the vertice size to be proportional to the population of the city. We just have to specify that we want to pull out the vertices information of the sample graph in using the column um, population. Okay. The next argument is the layout. So the default is to use a nice layout. R will figure out for you. Otherwise, you can use some other options. For example, here. Those are the possible options for you. And you can specify the title using the main um, argument. In my case, I would like to use city map as my title. I can specify the arrow size, the curve, um, whether I would like a curved edges. And I can specify the color the frame color, the label color. Okay. Um, for the colors, you can specify the RGB color codes or simply the name of the color, say black, red, orange. Okay. There are so many colors that you can specify. Um, I do have them listed um, in the handouts if you want to explore more. Let me run this. Since we have really a large network, it may just take a while. Well, that's, that's my output. It doesn't look pretty because we have not customized it according to, say, the features. But it is a um, layout that automatically chosen by R. Okay. That's about everything for network analysis using R. There are so many to explore. If you are interested, then you can always go to um, the R network analysis code and um, try out things there. Thanks for watching.